Everybody, everybody, he's the minstrel show. That's him right there. That's Officer Tatum, the minstrel show. Greatest color show on earth. Look at this. I don't, this is his thumbnail for the video I'm showing y'all right now. Officer Tatum, the minstrel show. Lord have mercy. Really? Really, Tatum? You gonna buck your eyes too? Look, look, what's the difference? What's the difference? What's the difference? It's a minstrel show. Tatum done lost his mind, didn't he? Big old swole Negro. They gave him some money. They should have never gave this Negro no money. They gave him some money and he lost his mind. The gentleman named C Rock. Yeah, man. He called himself C Rock Smooth. Mm -hmm. Well, C Rock Smooth is tossing this hard, rough gospel out there. Uh, <laughs> That's right. I don't have the freedom to say what I want to say. We're going to get straight into Tatum. We just did an hour on Candace. I'm just looking at the how long it's been going. We just did an hour on Candace, y'all. It's now Officer Tatum's turn. Glory to God. Let's just rip him up too. Because these are disgusting, as I call them, house Negroes. And all you racists that are watching, if you're really racist, you could just leave. You're not going to hear anything good. I call it both ways. So you're going to get hurt and feel good. You're going to be on an emotional roller coaster on this channel. You're going to get hurt and feel good. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Y'all ready for Jason Tatum? Put a six in the comments if you're ready. If you're ready for Jason Tatum. Because he is disgusting. He's disgusting. I wish I could pull up that, that uh, video with some dude that was acting like Donald Trump said, yeah, I, we know how much you black people love chicken. He said it to Jason Tatum's face. If you saw that, put a seven in the comments. He said it to Jason Tatum's face and Jason Tatum didn't say nothing. He didn't say nothing. I know how you black people love chicken. Tatum smiled and kept shaking that man's hand. And he didn't say, whoa, 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 whoa. That's crazy. That's racist. But Tatum is all about the minstrel show as well. We're going to break it all down. Let's take a look at how much, how much of an alpha male Officer Tatum really is. Y'all ready? Take a look at this. This is your real Officer Tatum. Oh, oh, he didn't think we could get this footage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He loved black people so much. Look at how much of a coward and a scumbag he is when this man is disrespected to his face by a comedian acting as Donald Trump. Look at this stereotypical trash, the racist joke that was told to his face, and he didn't say nothing. Well, we're here with Officer Taylor, a great African-American. you look at the little he knew there was a great He's a terrific guy. He's going to win big. He's going to win big with the African-Americans. Great guy. Come here, Officer Tatum. We love him. Great guy. Thank you, Trump. Thank you. Come here. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. There we go. We're winning with the black stutter. Great guy. Yes, sir. Now, look at that garbage. Look at that garbage. We bought black people lots of chicken. Lots of chicken. Did he say anything about that joke? Nope. You know why? Because he's a scumbag. This is not a role model for white or black men. Lord have mercy. He's not a role model for nothing but cowards. This man said, we got black people a whole, we bought a whole lot of chicken for him. And he's smiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah chicken, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we love chicken. <laughs> you want some watermelon too? You want some watermelon too? See, this is the chump. This is a 
Oh, man. Horrible, horrible version of a man. This guy sat there and he got so much to say about Juneteenth. I don't celebrate Juneteenth. Here's a white man, so-called white man. I don't know what kind of white man. There's a whole lot of, whatever. Yeah, we buy a lot of chicken for black folk. Yeah, they love the chicken. They love the chicken. And he didn't say nothing. Then he hugged them. Thank you, Trump. Thank you. Come here. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. There we go. We're winning with the blacks. That I can tell you. Great guy. Yes, sir. This man's a coward. But he can get on the internet and tell 4 million of his subscribers, I don't celebrate Juneteenth. Matter of fact, let's deal with that. Let's deal with why Officer Tatum does not celebrate Juneteenth. Yeah, let's do that. Watch this. You're going to be shocked. This is the real Officer Tatum, by the way. Uh, the man was never a part of the black community. He went to the blue community, which is the police. He never had a chance to really be black. He went straight to blue and blue and white. He just became blue and white. Lord have mercy. Look at this. Listen to his reasoning of why he doesn't celebrate Juneteenth. Land ownership, property ownership. And there was many black people who owned property that were able to vote while white people weren't able to vote. When you go back in history, there was many black all right, so he's talking white people couldn't vote when black people could vote. Uh, what part of American history is that? Because uh, if, if I'm if I'm correct, black folks wasn't able to vote until after the whole civil rights movement. I might be wrong, but uh, it was in like the 60s or 70s when uh, black people uh, were able to vote. And I believe white women were able to vote at the same time black people were able to vote in American history. Let me know in the comments if I'm right or wrong. But uh, he's saying that they was voting way back in the, the conception of America. Black folks was just voting and voting and voting. Mm, really? When they weren't considered uh, human beings? Uh, what, 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 what period was this, uh, Officer Tatum? But please tell us. Respond to this. And that's that's another thing. He's not going to respond to me. He's like, you got 65,000 subscribers. Yeah, yeah. So I could just treat him like a punching bag. And I don't even got to worry about him saying anything back. Ain't that beautiful? Ain't that wonderful, brothers and sisters? Let's continue with his disgusting, uh, premature, degenerate logic. Black people who own slaves. The first legal slave owner in the history of slavery in America was a black man. Oh, my first God. First legal slave owner, black man, Anthony Johnson. If you don't believe me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So this man is basically saying that it was a black man that pioneered slavery in what we know today as America. I can't make this up. Did you hear what this man just said? A black man was the first slave owner in the, the resurrection and creation of America. Listen to this dude. He's not a scumbag. Listen. The first legal slave owner in the history of slavery in America was a black man. First legal slave owner, black man, Anthony Johnson. If you don't believe me, go look it up. Anthony. So he's using this Anthony Johnson man to justify all of the white men that almost dis dis massacred and tortured uh, Negroes that came from Negro land and the motherland, uh, which is they call Africa. It's not even called Africa. The original name of the motherland was Alki Bulan. All right. Well, let me just show you this really quickly, because even so-called white folks don't even know about this. Look, look, look. This is what they've been hiding from so-called black people for a long time. Look at that. What that say? Negro land. That's one of the original maps. If you look at one of today's maps, it's not there. But we could dive into that later. But the slaves were Negroes. If you look at the signs that the slaves held when they were being sold, it said Negro for sale. Now, I would love to see somebody argue with that in the comments. I'll destroy you in the comments later. Let's continue. So Tatum is saying that it was a black man that pioneered slavery of black people in America. This man is a dog. Look at this. Anthony Johnson was the first legal slave owner in the United States of America, and that we know now as the United States of America. And he had two indentured servants. He went to court. He sued. 
that he may own those two men for life. He wants. Oh, what an idiot. And it, first of all, Negro slaves were not indentured servants. They weren't even considered a human. Okay. Indentured servants were people basically like someone in jail today. You're paying your debt to society. You're still a human. You still have rights when you're an indentured servant. Negro slaves were not considered human. They did not have rights. They were considered animals. They were considered the same as a horse that was owned by a white man. You were cattle. You were property. So Tatum, once again, is a disgrace to his parents, his family. He's just disgusted. He had indentured slaves. Negroes were not indentured slaves. They weren't even considered human. Let's continue. This guy is disgusting. I didn't know he believed this. I'm unsubscribing from this guy. I don't give up. Lord have mercy. One in a court of law and owned those two men for life being the first, first legal slave owner in the United States of America. So they want to build this facade that is white versus black. That is this man will believe anything he reads as if it's is gospel. He read something on Google or whatever, and he's just like, this is gospel. Right. Does he feel the same way about the Holy Scriptures? I think not, because the scriptures talked about how we're supposed to uh, avoid and ignore man made philosophy and man made doctrine and history and all this stuff. We're supposed to observe the history in the Holy Scriptures. The Holy Scriptures is a history book. Amen. It's a history book. But this man is on Google. He's saying the Holy Scriptures is, is second to Google. Lord have mercy. It's the white man's uh, uh, freedom versus the black man's freedom. And they're doing this. And they want to make sure they push it so they can gain political power. Now, some black people are fooled into believing that this was done in good faith. When if you go back to my first point, if you look at all of the federal holidays, every federal holiday that I can think of deals with an issue on a federal level. This is not the celebration of the Emancipation Proclamation, which was on a federal level. This is not the celebration of the 13th Amendment, which was on a federal level. This man is just dumb. He said Juneteenth celebration, the freeing of the slaves, is not a celebration of the Emancipa Emancipation Proclamation. Wow. I thought this man was intelligent. I really did. I see he's acting. He must somebody, somebody, uh, one of them white folks over there must be giving him a script to read or something because that is ridiculous. He said Juneteenth is not a celebration of the Emancipation Proclamation. Isn't that the freedom of the slaves? Isn't Juneteenth about celebrating the freedom of the slaves or the slaves being freed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this guy's about as dumb as a doorknob. This is not Veterans Day. This is not, uh, uh, I mean, I can go through all the federal holidays. I pulled them up. Thanksgiving, Christmas. Uh, let's go. Martin Luther King, the passage of the Civil Rights Act. That's a, that was These are all made up holidays that, that, because that, that's one of the reasons why he hates Juneteenth and he doesn't want to celebrate it because it's made up. Really, all of them things that he just uh, spoke of and quoted, those were all made up holidays. Stupid. It was a federal uh, uh, accomplishment, which which yielded results for every single state in the union. Uh, I say the union, every single state in, the, in what we know now is the United States of America. All of the federal holidays deal with federal issues. Juneteenth is a regional issue. All the other black people were free. Many of them knew they were free. Many of them were, were exercising their freedom. One sector in, in Galveston, Texas, had not been made aware. Uh, Tatum's forehead, Officer Tatum's forehead is a federal issue. It's a federal issue. Let's continue. Officially, yet, should not be 
a federal holiday. So, ladies and gentlemen, I got about a minute left and I want to conclude with saying don't allow division. Celebrate things for the right reasons. Don't allow them to pit us against one another. It is okay to celebrate Juneteenth if you're doing it in the right spirit, understanding that we all have gained independence in the United States of America. 1776 was the day, and we now observe that freedom that has blah, blah, blah. You're going to say all of that after he just totally did his best to destroy Juneteenth. Why is he saying it's okay to celebrate it? And he's saying this whole video is about why he doesn't celebrate it. Lord have mercy. Let me get to scripture really quick. The book of James, chapter 1 and verse 8. A double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. Lord have mercy. That's Tatum. Unstable. Double-minded. You're going to make a video and talk about why we why he don't celebrate Juneteenth and then tell everybody, well, it's okay to celebrate it. Well, if it's okay, why are you celebrating? Why don't you celebrate? Because you're such a scumbag and a loser. And you, he, just, he just loves money so much that he'll come out here and just take stabs at uh, underrepresented, un, underserved. It's just a bully. He's a bully. And these are the people I love attacking bullies. I, I, oh Lord, I love it. Lord knows. One thing Brother Rock loves is to attack a bully. So this brings me great joy. Let's continue. Uh, check this out. Across the country, Americans are celebrating Juneteenth. The holiday is considered the longest running African American holiday and has been called America's second Independence Day. That's a lie to hell. The longest uh, running holiday for so-called black people. It got to be Martin Luther King Day. If I'm wrong, let me know. Did that come before uh, Malcolm X Day? Or did that come before, what is another day we could, uh, Black History Month? No, that ain't even a holiday. Ain't that something? Out of 12 months, uh, so-called black people get one month to celebrate. Ain't that something? That's the devil out of hell. That's got to be the devil out of hell. Which one came first? Y'all let me know in the comments. Was it Martin Luther King Day or Malcolm X Day? I got a feeling because they didn't like Malcolm X. They love, they love Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King was, I got to tell the truth, he was a little house Negro-ish. He like, no matter how many times they spit on you, don't do nothing. Don't do nothing. No matter how many times they hit you with a rock, don't do nothing. And then somebody hit him with a rock. And guess what? He ain't do nothing. He took that rock like a champ. I would have been like, this is the day where we die. I would have had to take the Spartan, Spartan approach. This is the day where they fight and they lose. Even if I know I'm a lose. This is the day where they die. And I would have died. But in my mind, I was going to win. You spit on me or hit me with a rock. I am not there yet. I don't care how racist you are. I don't, I don't care how many guns you got. You spit on me and hit me with a rock and think I'm going to keep singing, we shall overcome? If doing my own will in that situation uh, situation will keep me out of heaven, I'm not going. Lord have mercy. I, listen, if I got to get hit in the head with a rock, if I got to get hit in the head with a rock and spit on to get in heaven, Oh, I guess if it, if you get in heaven, I I do I let them do it. But I'm saying if it's just because you could be forgiven for punching somebody in the eye after they spit on you and hit you in the rock. I don't think the Lord uh, will stop you from getting in heaven. If somebody hits you in the head with a rock and spit on you, Lord have mercy. I don't I don't believe I serve a God uh, that 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 want me to get spit on. I mean they did it to Jesus, but Lord have mercy. I, I don't know, y'all. I can't even definitively say that that might be something that uh, we have to do because Jesus took a lot. But that was God Almighty in the flesh. Nobody was perfect but Jesus. Look, they the Lord tried to find somebody. He, he couldn't find nobody to do what Jesus did. So guess what? He had to come manifest himself in the flesh. 
to, 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 to walk out his own will. He couldn't find nobody. The Lord know, the Lord know, as soon as you spit on me or anybody like me, we got to fight. I'm sorry. I'm just not going to, you ain't going to spit on my mother and we're going to pray. Lord, please stop the spit. I'm not there. I don't think I'll ever be there. And I hope that not being to that point, letting somebody spit on my mother or me will keep me out of heaven. Because I'm telling you, at this point in time in my life, I know I'm going to hell. If that will keep me out of hell, I hope the Lord is not that strict. Lord have mercy. Please, Lord, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't make it that hard to get in heaven. I ain't going if it's that hard. Oh, I pray the Lord it ain't like that. Lord have mercy. I'm nervous. That got me nervous. This video is brought to you by The Oxidative Store. The Oxidative Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Ladies and gentlemen, get on here right now. The hats are coming in soon. So if you click, notify me when made available. Look at that. Your father's so he, did, he talk about black folk and, and degrade them. And then he sell shirts and hats about them. And he'd be like, Juneteenth is fake. And then he'd be like, a bunch of Negroes. And then they make a shirt that say it. And then they just sell it. He sell it out. He don't, he don't even have enough shirts. When he'd be like, you Juneteenth Negroes, it's, this is fake. And he put it on a shirt or a hat. They'd be like, yes. And they all of his white following. And you all know I have a lot to sell. His white folk that love him, they buy it. I don't celebrate Juneteenth. And to be honest, I don't think it should be a federal holiday. Oh. However, I'm not going to march. I'm not going to go out and deny other people from observing Juneteenth if that's what they want to do. You can't stop him, Officer Tatum. You can't stop him. If you wanted to, Officer Tatum, he still got that... Uh, that that police uh, uh uh tyrant in them i'm not gonna stop y'all if you want to celebrate you couldn't if you wanted to what are you talking about fathers matter that shirt he's a disgusting father if you're teaching people what he's teaching people on this channel i don't celebrate juneteenth you're a disgusting father you won't celebrate a people forget this black people any people being freed from slavery, you don't celebrate that? You ain't no father. You're a disgusting scumbag. I'm about to snap. Y'all pray that I stay within the scripture, but I'm telling you, this man is disgusting. Let's continue. I do think it was wrong. I think it was inaccurate to make Juneteenth a federal holiday. That's how he coded it. It was inaccurate. He's getting ready to tell y'all uh, it wasn't the exact day uh, where the, the slaves were freed. You know, so we shouldn't celebrate that day. Uh, we should celebrate the exact day. Bruh, we're celebrating being freed from slavery. We're celebrating the fact that you're dumb. Lord have mercy. Lord, the spirit snatched the words out of my mouth again. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. Some people think I don't have it. <laughs> I would have slipped a long time ago if it wasn't for the Holy Spirit that kept me on this show. Because this is live. Hold up, y'all. Hold up. Hold up. If it wasn't for the slaves being freed, your yellow, disgusting hind part would not be able to have a, a successful show on YouTube where you can talk to white You couldn't even talk to white people when we was in slavery and you don't want to celebrate their freedom they would have hung you if you tried to have a news station on a on a newspaper or a television show they'd have shot him dead in his head but he don't want to celebrate juneteenth look at this scumbag and he got his hat to the back like a young man he says this is a grown man with his hat to the back like he's gonna go play beer pong at some college and you know what? I like a lot of things that he say, but I didn't know he said that he don't celebrate Juneteenth. Did sell all your equipment, your dog. He's a dog because the scriptures say a shameless woman, a shameless woman would be counted as a dog. Guess what? That goes for men too. He's a shameless man. Look at how he got his head down. Look at his face. He know what he's saying is wrong, but this great, white audience that will not reprimand him for this this great racist white audience will not reprimand him for this and he's doing it
to appease them. He's another one that got over 4 million followers, I believe. Look at this dog of a man. Uh, maybe a regional holiday, maybe a state holiday, but to make Juneteenth a federal holiday, in my personal opinion, is a virtue signal. Who made Juneteenth a federal holiday? Democrat Joe Biden in 2021. Why? God bless you, uh, Brother Crawford. Let's continue to break this down. So he his gripe is that Joe Biden legalized it. That's his gripe. Why did he make Juneteenth a federal holiday to appease black people? Not for any other reason. So he's saying uh, Joe Biden. And I said this earlier on in this broadcast. If you come if you came in late. Yes, Joe Biden signed Juneteenth into law as a federal holiday. Yes, he did. Because if he didn't, it would have been a clear indication that this man does not like black people. If you can't sign a bill that for, for black folk, uh, the sentence of slaves, I should say, to celebrate freedom and being released from slavery in this country, it would be a clear indication that you are outright racist. And I believe he is out racist, outright racist because I remember when he talked about uh, if if so-called black, the, the descendants of slaves in America, the descendants of American slaves got into public schools, it would turn it into a jungle. I remember he said that. I remember he said, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. Since when a, a Caucasian could tell so-called black people when they're black, do, does he believe he have the, the power to give out race cards now? Black cards? He disgusted. So, of course, he signed it. It was time for election season. It was election season, not time for it. It was election season. He's trying to get votes. That's what they do. They, the politicians, all of them lie to you. Some of them are way more honest than others, but they all lie about something. Whatever they campaign on, that, that, it's 99.9% .9 chance that they're not going to do everything they campaign for. Right? So, yeah, he signed it into it. So, to what Tatum is saying, because Joe Biden signed it into law to make it a federal holiday, oh, it's fake. It's fake. Oh, it's fake, y'all. We shouldn't celebrate it. Joe did. Joe said it. Are you nuts? He could be shot in the head back in them days when, when, when racism was at an all-time high. And hold up, by the way, Tatum will tell you, racism ain't real in America. There ain't no real issue in America. No, it's not a real issue. Mm -mm. Nope. Racism ain't real. Candace will try to downplay racism as well. Racism ain't real. Ain't nothing keeping y'all from succeeding, black folk. Ain't nothing keeping y'all from succeeding. That's a lie straight out of hell. There are some white folks that still want to see non-white folks at the bottom of the totem pole. And it's not just putting a foot on uh, so-called descendants of slaves or well, not so-called descendants of slaves Asians, Hispanics they put their foot on everybody those type of white folks see I'm not dumb enough to say all white people are racist but Tatum and Candace are dumb enough to say racism don't even exist I know white folks who know racism exists but two so-called Negroes will tell you nah it don't exist house Negroes this is the house Negro syndrome let's continue People have been celebrating Juneteenth since about 1866, which is the day after the events that we now consider to be historic events of June uh, the 19th in 1865. And I'll just break it down for you guys. And, and generally speaking, uh, obviously, the Emancipation Proclamation was established, I believe, two years around two and a half years before. Uh, Juneteenth, uh, 18th. And I want y'all to just understand that he keeps looking to his right, but on the screen, our left. He's looking at notes. He don't even know the history. So he was he went and did some research to try to look for anything to try to downplay and degrade the descendants of slaves from celebrating the freedom of our ancestors or our relatives. Right. From slavery. 65. But obviously everybody that were enslaved had not been free. I want y'all to pay attention to how he keep putting his eyes down and his head down. 
This man knows that what he's doing is egregious, it's disgusting, and it's satanic what he's doing. It's satanic. During the Emancipation Pro Proclamation, it, it established the transition of slaves, the people who were identified as slaves, to now becoming free individuals in our society. Now, many people were free during that time. Uh, there was many people who were still enslaved during that time because the freedom had not gotten to them at that point. And in Galveston, Texas, look at this, where you know, two and a half years later after the Emancipation Proclamation, we we have black people that were in a small area in Galveston, Texas, that had not gotten the news that they were free. And let's fast forward to the Civil War being fought. So look, look, he's saying because they haven't got the news, like as if we have TV, like today, Tatum, you idiot as if we have tv like today as if we have all of these different newspaper carriers where they can get the news out fast yes it took two years for all slaves to know that they was free tatum you idiot tatum you idiot all he do is kiss up the racist white folks some of the white folks that he kiss up to and give props to they're not racist but he just a house negro they done gave him so much stake then it gave him so much of everything that now he don't even want to speak against the history, which is documented. This is a sad man. God willing, one day I'll show my son what not to be like. And God willing, my life will be an example to my son to show him what he should be like. But I'm going to show him men like Tatum. Don't you ever go out and degrade your people to a group of people who hate your people. And I believe we all are one blood, but I know the reality. The reality is some people do not believe that. And I'm gonna tell them, don't you ever run out here and be a house Negro like Officer Tatum and talk down to folk that are less fortunate and uneducated and underserved and underprivileged. Don't you ever do that. But you teach accountability, you teach your decisions determine your future. You teach, keep God first. You teach stuff like that. That's what I'm going to do. But don't never be like Officer Tatum talking about fathers matter. This man got Stockholm Syndrome. If you don't know what it means, it's um, uh, when you protect people that hurt you. That's called Stockholm Syndrome. Him and Candace got it. Candace Owens looked like Terrell Owens. Lord have mercy. The 13th Amendment being passed um, right around that time is when uh, Juneteenth uh, became a thing. And there was uh, a message being passed down the chain by an individual um, to allow or let people in Galveston know that they were actually free. Now, people who. If you notice, I didn't call him an Uncle Tom because Uncle Tom was actually a hero. If you do the research, he wasn't nobody to. to derogatory calling somebody an uncle tom is not derogatory if you actually learn the story so if you get a chance please look into the story of uncle tom he was actually a hero it wasn't a derogatory process what i just said are people who understand the magnitude of that particular day may argue that that's why we celebrate juneteenth now i have two arguments to that they don't tell you that the Galveston, Texas Freedom Declaration wasn't the actual end or wasn't the actual last group of people to be freed. Watch this. They don't tell you that the, the Choctaw Indian, the Choctaw Nation, still owned slaves after June 19th of 1865. Oh, oh. What? What? <laughs> Lord have mercy. He threw the he threw the Choctaw Indians under the bus. Lord have mercy. They probably had two, three hundred slaves, opposed to the hundreds of thousands of slaves. Wow. This man threw the native Indians under the bus. The slaves the native Indians had didn't build America. It was the slaves, the the, the hundreds of thousands. Probably, was it millions? Let me know in the comments. The millions of slaves that the um, Caucasians had that built America for free. I don't know. 
I don't know if the Choctaw was paying their, their slaves, and which would make them indentured servants. I don't know that. I know for a fact that the Caucasians wasn't paying nobody but the house Negro, which is uh, would be Jason, uh, Lord have mercy, uh, uh, Officer Tatum. And I know they was paying the sex slaves. The white men, they was paying for their sex slaves back then, which would be a Candace Owens. That's what they were doing. Now, I know she would have been a sex slave. She already would a white man. She might already be a white man's sex slave. But wait, wait, they're married. So whatever they do in their bedroom is under file. But she married to a white man. If she's his sex slave, it's not a biblical error at all. It's not. It sure ain't. So if that's what it is, no problem. But what I'm saying is, Candace, if it wasn't for the slaves being freed, she'd be a sex slave. And Officer Tatum would be a big buck picking cotton somewhere, okay? And if he was really a traitor, they'd have him in the house. I think he would be in the house back then, y'all. I think he would be in the house. No, he's too big and strong. He could carry too much. They would get a skinnier slave. They wouldn't have no big slave in the house because he could carry too much. He can carry 3,000 pounds for two miles. They're not going to have you in the house. They need him in the field. Right. That's just being realistic. And I'm totally against slavery. Totally against it. But I know the logic of a slave master is no, no, we ain't gonna have the one who can uh, uh carry 10 cows uh with full of milk, carry 10 cows for two miles. They wouldn't have him in the house. They like, no, 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 not that one. No, because he was expensive. Because see, the they was measuring slaves back. They was like, look at his shoulders, look at his neck, look at his look at his forehead. He got to be able to think. Look at his forehead. They like he got a big brain. There ain't nothing in it, but he got a big brain. I know how they was thinking back then. This is a this is this is it sound like jokes, but that's how they were thinking. Like, look at how big his head is. He got to be able to think. I know he ain't been taught, but he got to have something in that big old head. They had to be doing that. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. They used to say he got a wide back. They do the same thing to football players and basketball players now. They measure you up and they put you on a trading auctioning block. They sell you to the NBA from college or high school, wherever you go. They do the same thing. Look at his neck. Look at his shoulders. Oh, he got wide. Look at his wingspan. Oh my God, he can block a lot of shots. They still do it. But anyway, I digress. It wasn't until 1866 that the Choctaw Nation released their slaves. So technically, it wasn't June 19th, 1865, that black people were finally notified of their freedom. It was actually after the Native Americans freed their slaves a year later. But they won't. Lord have mercy. Everybody, everybody, he's the minstrel show. That's him right there. That's Officer Tatum, the minstrel show. Greatest color show on earth. Look at this. I don't. This is his thumbnail for the video I'm showing y'all right now. Officer Tatum, the minstrel show. Lord have mercy. Really, really, Tatum. You gonna buck your eyes too? Look, look. What's the difference? What's the difference? What's the difference? It's a minstrel show. Tatum done lost his mind, didn't he? Big old swole Negro. They gave him some money. They should have never gave this Negro no money. They gave him some money and he lost his mind. They won't tell you Sorry. about the freedom of slaves. They won't tell you. You know what Tatum said? Tatum said, uh, I'm not black, I'm OJ. That's what Tatum said. I'm not black, I'm OJ. The white folks said, okay that or when I say about the freedom of slaves they won't tell you that the Native Americans had slaves too and they were the last to release slaves because that will go against the narrative now that brings me to my second point Dude, that is a dog statement that is a dog he gonna bring in the Native Indians who, who, who the colonizers gave diseases to just came in took over had a meal with them 
tried to, and almost killed all of them, put diseases all in the blankets and almost killed all of them, called themselves the pilgrims, right? That was the Caucasians. And if you're real and you're not racist, Caucasians will admit that was dirty. So he going to blame, he going to bring up the Native Indians who were almost genocided. Now, that was an attempt genocide by the Caucasians. Yes, the ones living today didn't have anything to do with that. Yes, they gave the uh, Indians, Native Americans, whatever you want to call them. But um, yeah, if you if you, you gave them reparations, but you didn't give the folks that was in the, in the yard picking all the cotton and cutting all the sugar cane, we didn't get it. No, no, no. My family still go visit a tree. I could bring you to a tree right now where my family still go to as a memorial because they know that was a tree. One of my great, great, great uncles was hung in. So we don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to talk about that because that's a little personal, but there's still folks here today that go to memorials where their family members were murdered by the Ku Klux Klan or whatever, whatever. All right, let's continue. Knowing historically what happened and the historical significance of what happened in June 19th, is important and if you don't know that you're setting a precedent of creating a falsehood and a false celebration that i believe caused more division than it caused connectivity or togetherness or unity and beyond that let's talk about what the democrats are doing man this dude just want to say anything against democrats brothers and sisters let's 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 get to some scripture let's get to some scripture before i slip uh, when I see men behaving like that, I get more disturbed because I know God made men to lead women and children. I get more disturbed when I see men talking like that. I can I can take Candace Owens talking crazy. You know, I understand. You know, she's a part of the Catholic Church. She became a Catholic, but she says she's a Christian. I've never seen any scripture where the followers of Christ were Catholic. I know they called the folk Christians at Antioch. That was the first time the followers of Christ were given a name. Whether it be derogatory or not, they were called Christians. And Christians, the definition of Christian is a follower of Christ, someone who is Christ-like. That's, I, I, I like that. I'm in agreement with that. So let me show y'all something. So, uh, Candace, we didn't get a chance to really deal with uh, what happened in the Candace video because she just, she made so many points. I'm like, we're never going to get out of her. We did the first hour on her. But what she did was she pointed out the coach, Joe Mazzula of the Boston Celtics, before the game, before they won the, the, the NBA championship, he walked around the he walked around the basketball court and he prayed with rosary beads. I got a picture. Uh, so anyway, he prayed. He had some rosary beads, brothers and sisters. And the rosary beads had the image of white Jesus on the cross. Now, you know, that's a violation because the Lord said, make no images of me. Am I right? Let me know in the comments. The Lord said, make no images of me of me am i right amen and that's what the rosary beads are that's what these other crosses with the uh uh picture of the white man on it uh the the white jesus was the most demonic the most demonic symbol of racism in america the most demonic here's a scripture where it's against those who wear pieces with the white Jesus or any kind of Jesus, because Jesus is not on the cross. Exodus 20 and 4 says, thou shall not make unto thee any graven images or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath, talking about the grave. And it goes even further to say, or that is in the water under the earth. That's below the grave. Okay. So that's what the scripture is talking about. So uh, Joe Mazzula of the Boston Celtics is obviously a Catholic. No one can show us where any Catholics was in the Holy Scriptures. No one can show us this. No one whatsoever. Let's read another scripture. Exodus chapter 4, verse 29. 
Let no corrupt communications proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. What Jason, oh, to keep saying Jason, what Officer Tatum and uh, Candace Owens did was not uh, the communication that the scripture is, is talking about. It, well, it is talking about that kind of scripture. It's corrupt communication, right? Well, that's nothing good to say, uh, the, like Candace said, uh, that's a ghetto holiday. That's a ghetto holiday. And Tatum's a, it made up. It, it, it don't make no sense. The Native Indians still had slaves. They still had slaves, y'all. That's corrupt communications. All right? Let's continue. Now, for those who would say, uh, Brother Rock, C Rock, you shouldn't judge these folk. You shouldn't judge them. You should not judge them. Well, the scripture says right here, judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. I'm judging according to what is righteous, what is good, what we should do opposed to what we should not do. They are judging based upon what they see. That's what the scripture said. Don't judge according to what you see. Candace always said, look at them at that restaurant. Look at them taking out the, 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 the cash draw. Look at them run out with it. Look at the shootings in Chicago. Look at that. That's the appearance. The righteous judgment is look at these people who don't know God. Look at these people who don't obey the Ten Commandments. Look at these people who don't have fathers. Look at these people who may not have mothers or fathers. Look at these misguided people. That is what God wants us to speak on those people like. Because see, when we see white folks looting and see Mexicans looting, we don't say, look at them Mexicans and white folks. We say, in, in God's true way of holiness, we say, look at them heathens, look at them sinners, look at them whatever. We don't say, look at them white or Mexican people. We say, look at them heathens. Look at, look at the godless people. We judge according to the actions, not the skin color or what they're wearing. We don't say, look at them people with them ripped up shorts. We say, look at them infidels. Ain't no real Christian going to run in no place and snatch a 50-inch TV and run for two miles with it back to the house. Amen? Check this out. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 16. But shun profane and vain babbling, for they will increase unto more godliness. That is why I am shunning Candace Owens and Officer Tatum. If we don't shun them. But look, after she got shunned on Twitter, she's like, listen, I just want to apologize because I couldn't I couldn't uh, be more disrespectful. I wish Twitter would let me say more. I, I can't even type too much. That's a shame that I can't say more about how ghetto Juneteenth is, right? And Tatum, he's just, you know, talking crazy. That's vain babble. Well, we, well they ain't talking about how they. The Native Indians still had some slaves. Why y'all celebrating this on the 19th? You understand? Know because uh, they really freed the slaves on the 30th. But it's not, he don't care that folks was free. He like, the date is wrong. We shouldn't celebrate it. Joe Biden made it legal. We shouldn't celebrate it. That is dogma. That is sickening. That's disgusting. Look at the book of First Timothy. Chapter 2 in uh, verse 12. But I suffer not a woman to teach nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. Uh, this goes for Candace as well. Because Candace, she done became a Catholic. Now she trying to teach scripture and all these different things. And she got to, y'all supposed to do this and y'all supposed to do that. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. The scripture said the man is the head of the woman. That's every man. That is righteous of God, for the record. That ain't for no heathen or no pimp in the street. No, 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 no. That is when it's dealing with a man of God, that man is the head of you. Because that man won't ask you to do anything that God wouldn't ask you to do in the Holy Scriptures. That man won't ask you to do nothing that the Scriptures won't justify. So we're talking about men that are of God and not some thug in the street or some pimp in the street. No, no, no. He's not the head of you. If it's a heathen or infidel, 
you don't got to listen to him. But a true man of God, a righteous man that has your best interest in heart and keep God first, listen to him. All right, so so Candace is now, she's a Catholic, which is a false religion. It's a man-made religion. Now, we all know those that are in the truth, God's true way is the way of holiness, and it's nothing else. Everything else that has a start date was started by man, and anything started by man is is it, it's got to be it's got to be doomed it's got to be all right let's look at the book of matthews brothers and sisters chapter 12 and 37 verse 37 for by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be condemned these disgusting words and this filthy communication they have to repent for it but we looked and saw that Candace says she don't want to repent. She was mad. She couldn't degrade the descendants of slaves even more. Tatum, I don't know. I know he's not going to repent. His video was still up too. You see, his was a little. His was older than Candace though, but his video was still up. Check this out. Uh, the Book of Philippines, Philippians, excuse me, chapter four and verse eight. Whosoever. Uh, whatsoever things are true, honest, just, pure, lovely, of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Now, I shorten that down to the things that we should think of. You can go check that out and read the whole uh, scripture. But uh, YouTube wouldn't allow me to put the whole scripture in there. That's why I put dot, dot, dot. We'll let you know that there's something before that and there's more to the scripture. All right, brothers and sisters, let's go to First Peter's. First Peter's chapter four and verse eleven. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, Officer Tatum is a part of Christianity. The word Christianity is not found in what people know as the Holy Bible or what we know as the Holy Scriptures. It's not found. The things that Candace is teaching uh, about being a Catholic and all that stuff, none of that is found in the Holy, Holy Scriptures or what they know as, once again, the Holy Bible. They're just making up stuff. That's what they do now. The world just make up anything that's pleasing to whoever hears it. All right, brothers and sisters, thank you all for tuning in once again to the Sea Rock Smooth Show on its Juicy TV, where the truth is told and the truth is gold. And as I always say, no matter what we do, we must keep pushing the truth. If you enjoyed the show, put a three in the comments. If you did not enjoy this show, put a four. And I love you even more. God first once again. The gentleman named Sea Rock. Yeah, man. He called himself Sea Rock Smooth. Mm -hmm. Well, Sea Rock Smooth is tossing this hard, rough gospel out there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's right. Hallelujah. Bible says endure hardness as what? Good soldier. Good soldier. God made me a soldier. Amen. Good soldier. I'm a warrior. Warrior. I'm part of God's army. That's right. He's my commander. He's my chief. Hallelujah.